here's a customer ID number field that perhaps isn't the easiest thing to fill out, to look up, copy, paste, and such. And that's what Daria's team decided to A-B test. The A-B test was set up on Abalarm, which is a German contract cancellation service. And the form field more specifically was shown on step one of a multi-step form. Whereas in the B variation, this was flipped around so that the more difficult field was shown further down in the path. And hopefully the easier fields such as the address and the name were shown earlier. The experiment finished with significant results to purchases. Remember that these are paid contract cancellations. This is a service that people purchase. So that was the primary metric. Uh, significance was with a p-value of 0.01. And there was quite a big of a sample, so there's almost like 140,000 visitors. So it was well powered. And it was nice to see this significant outcome because previously we tested something similar, uh, something I designed for Design Lab, where we actually did a bit of an inverse. We took something that we considered to be an easier field, uh, in this case, uh, date selection for a course, course start date and we brought it out from step two to the forefront to step one earlier into the process thinking that again this might be desirable people might want to might want to choose this and express this and be reassured that that you know data is there uh, unfortunately that test resulted in an insignificant or flat outcome uh, what insignificance in this uh, in this case means is that we weren't able to detect any signal. It doesn't mean that this is definitely not, uh, you know, this is a flat, useless kind of approach, but maybe with this lower sample, I mean, we had like one tenth of the, uh, of the sample here that Daria had, um, we weren't able to see the effect. Had we run this test longer? Maybe, or maybe not. Uh, but either way, it was nice to see uh, finally a significant result for something similar, where again, pushing easier fields uh, to the forefront or more difficult fields further down in the path um, worked. I also prepared a handful of other questions or variations, given that kind of any experiment doesn't really fully explore an infinite field of, of possibilities. And some things that came to mind just looking at this might be, could this experiment in the future have even more potential if that difficult field was pushed even further. Uh, let's remember that, again, that there's a handful of steps here, not just two, but like four or five. So what if we increase the intensity of this change? What if this difficult, so to say, field was pushed further and further and further? Another question that this test might raise is should form fields or certain fields that are difficult be completely removed? Maybe at the outset that kind of feels like an impossibility because something is required and how will you know companies match customers but maybe there are some ways maybe there are some automated ways where customers can be looked up by names maybe some code could be written that maybe will take that stress away from the human and do it automatically with some other verification so that's a possibility that's a question i'm kind of wondering Typically, when we look at form removal kind of experiments, usually removing form fields leads to increases. Uh, although we do have some experiments where showing form fields is actually desirable. Certain people or certain there are certain situations where people might want to provide some sort of information, maybe in search or uh, maybe other situations as well. Perhaps another variation for a future experiment might be isolating that kind of variable a bit more. So if we look at the experiment design a bit more closely, we can notice that two form fields were actually shifted. Uh, first, the reason for cancellation, like in this little pull down here, and then the customer ID number. Perhaps an experiment design where these are cut into two separate pieces and only one of these fields is moved forward or, or, or further. And I say this because we've observed some experiments that pushed certain desirable fields to the forefront 
in this pattern called gradual reassurance. Uh, it's been tested numerously by various companies and with a lot of positive outcomes. And maybe the kind of reason for canceling, if done right and placed on the forefront, uh, might lead to some gains as well. So yeah, hopefully this kind of sums up uh, a variety of kind of new questions and uh, maybe try and see if you can replicate this as well. And I invite anyone here to grab a good UI subscription. We have over 400 experiments, which are available to, uh, to members. We publish all experiments, whether they're successful or not, and significant, significant. So it's a great resource for seeing kind of what works, what doesn't, as well as estimating experiments or patterns based on uh, effects from other companies. So thanks for watching. And also a huge thanks to Daria for letting us uh, publish this experiment and, and letting us share the results with uh, with you. Till next time.